Inside restaurants, bars, and coffee houses, and on some patios, live original music is about to take over normal heights and surrounding areas for Adams Avenue Unplugged. We have acoustic, jazz, folk, um, even bigger bands that they might be plugged in, but you know, there's still like kind of like an acoustic guitar bass to it. Julia Sanchez is assistant director with the Adams Avenue Business Association who puts on the event. She's expecting at least 10,000 people to come and watch what will be mostly local acts. Now, most people are from the greater San Diego area, but we do have a few that come in from LA or Northern California. John Hawes is one half of a local band. He and his wife Kat make up The Beard and The Bird. They live in Ramona. We kind of have different arrangements, so it's always my wife on uh, upright bass, and I play guitar and sing and play banjo and some other stuff. They've performed at Adams Avenue Unplugged once before and are excited to be back for another event. Rather than big and loud and crazy, um, it, you still have a little bit of that, but it's really more focused on like the songwriting, which I, I think is pretty cool. This year, the festivities will begin Friday night with a film about the festival's founder, but the main event takes place from noon to midnight on Saturday across 20 different stages. It's a huge day for all bars and restaurants. Everybody is full and it's just so lovely to see that the impact that the event has on the business uh, businesses down Adams Avenue. The headliner concert by California Guitar Trio and the opening night film are the only paid parts of the event. Everything else is free for people of all ages to enjoy. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.